Hi, I'm uh, Roman Artarski. I'm the owner and uh, head designer of uh, Trax Audio, as well as the principal member of the audio union uh, venture. Uh, so, uh, how did you start with designing your own gear in uh, Bulgaria? Because this is maybe not something that you would think would be the first thing that you are doing when you are entering uh, an audio market. Well, as you know, traditionally we didn't have anything in the Eastern Bloc at the time, so everything was imported. As soon as uh, things started changing and uh, democracy came through, yeah. uh, we started importing a lot of equipment and gradually importing some of the exotic Japanese stuff um, brought us to the conclusion that although as good as it is, it's not very user-friendly. So we started uh, modifying and adding remote controls and stuff like that. So the top units that we can find and this led to the development of our own products first products and then uh, all the R&D that we started doing and experience that we gained during the distribution of uh, high-end products uh, led us to believe that we can do something better okay and uh, are your products inspired by the uh, gear that you were importing and uh, distributing on your market or is this your uh, completely design uh, from scratch from the beginning that you do yeah, you know we were being exposed to so many different products uh, every product exhibits some particular set of qualities some good some bad and we were trying to pin down what is the reason why does a particular product sound the way it sounds and why does another one have a different sonic signature. So I spent a couple of years on R&D with a team of engineers to actually figure out the sonic signature of different topologies, different components, materials and so on. And we started uh, pretty much like a chef uh, mixing and matching and uh, getting a particular sound that we were after. And now you are uh, satisfied with what you are achieving or are you still developing for new products? We are constantly developing new stuff, but uh, the sonic signature of the Trax products is very good representation of my personal tastes. You know, if we have amplifiers that are of solid state, hybrid and tube, but still they all exhibit the same common sonic signature, which is not very easy to do. We have our own view of how things should be done, like this super quiet uh, backgrounds and a lot of silence in the music, which allows for a greater expression of dynamics and uh, you get a sense of the emotion transmitted through. So this is something that we strive to achieve in all the products, doesn't matter whether it's digital, analog or whatever. Yeah. And <clears throat> we believe that we have developed a few technologies in-house that are key to the success of this. And are you showcasing some new products here on the audio show in Warsaw? Good uh, thing that you ask. Uh, one of the things that we are presenting here is a new bus section for our Lyra speakers. This is a project that uh, is a perfect example of what we do. We were evaluating of how to do a good fast bus system that would have um, the matching speed of our horn tweeter. And uh, during that research, we found out that uh, all the speakers that are ported exhibit a very unacceptable to us high group delay, which means that the bus comes later than the sound. What happens is that uh, music is uh, very much pulsed yeah. signals. It's not a repeating signal. So when the pulse, the energy doesn't come at the same time, it's smeared. And this really doesn't give you the impact of the instruments and it doesn't transmit the emotional part. So we wanted to do a fast pass system which led us to do a closed volume uh, woofer system. But that reduces the efficiency very much or the resonant frequency goes up yeah. a lot. So we did a further research and uh, we based our design on a principle developed by Philips in the 60s and 70s of motional feedback with a second sensing uh, coil in the drive unit. But we took it to the absolute extreme by developing a completely separate magnetic system for the sensor and a very sophisticated feedback uh, loop that allows us to extend the low frequency response. Plus we can um, tailor design the uh, Q factor of the bus system, the velocity and acceleration of the unit so that we can 
control the timing basically yeah and now you can hear the system sounding in sync you know when you have yeah. percussive instruments they actually have body so yeah. you don't hear only the skins of the drums and then a rumble afterwards yeah and this system that you designed, uh, you are using also your own drivers there, uh, or is this yes. uh, system an add-on to, to some available on the market drivers? One of the key things was the development of um, our own particular driver, because uh, you cannot do that with an off-the-shelf driver. But lots of people have tried doing this with uh, piezoelectric sensors and stuff like that, it doesn't really allow you to do it properly. You cannot get uh, beyond a certain point. And we wanted to take it to the next level, so this was a completely new development, uh, and it's been in development for the last 25 years. In Bulgaria, there was a company that was making active monitors during the old times, and they were developing this in the 70s and 80s. And you can say that this is like the super up version of it yeah. now. And can this module be used uh, with other, uh, let's say, uh, high frequency modules or stand mount speakers, or is it tailored only to your uh, no, it's speaker? It's actually a very open system. The bus unit has a built in uh, crossover. At the moment, it's uh, tuned for a two way system, but you can connect any amplifier that you want for the top, and you can, in theory, use different tops as long as they are actually time aligned. Otherwise, it's not going to have the same effect. And you were also mentioning while introducing that you are uh, working in an international cooperation. What is that you do there exactly? Oh, this is um, this is an interesting venture. Uh, a few years ago, I started uh, something called the Audio Union, which is uh, products that are designed by world-renowned uh, audio designers uh, to take them to market because we have the manufacturing capabilities. But I don't have, for instance, the necessary know-how to design a turntable or a turnamp. So I talked to some of the best guys in the world and said, well, let's do something together. We can do this and this for you. And this is how we started with uh, Mark Dohman from uh, Australia. And we created the Helix One turntable with an integrated minus K suspension system. The minus K is a system developed in uh, California for uh, isolation of vibrations into measurement devices, uh, electrons, scanning microscopes, uh, and all kinds of high precision equipment that needs to be virtually hanging in the air. Uh, the implementation of the minus K uh, solves two main issues with uh, turntables, which is the footfall and the acoustic feedback through the floor and support systems. We believe that uh, with the low frequency, the, the low resonant frequency of the system, we have completely solved that issue. And uh, we are also introducing another uh, concept with the magnetically damped suspended uh, tone arm uh, mounting plates. So those isolate the vibrations that are borne by the um, motor. And uh, we have the motor mounted stiff uh, on the same uh, structure as the bearing of the platter, which gives us a constant uh, distance between the two bearings and uh, there is no oscillation there. Makes the speed more stable and the use of uh, Shilabni plates absorbs all the energy that is transmitted from the motors to the um, bearing. It's a very complex design that uh, I don't believe uh, a company can do on its own. So actually it involved a number of uh, people in the design. Uh, this was Minus K, Mark, uh, our partners in the US, uh, the brothers Kleinbeck, and a couple of my mechanical engineers as well, and a specialist in servo systems to tune the, the whole thing.